I don't want to fast forward to it, but if you want to kind of apply that to last <laughs> night, Casimiro. 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 Excuse me. I'm yeah. down to talk about Casimiro. Of, yeah. Faced a lot of adversity last night in trying to, uh, you know, maintain being the champion against Rigondeaux. Yeah, to- I, I, I'm going to go ahead and go, ahead. Uh, go first yeah. about that. Uh-oh. So I, I see, I saw a lot of people <laughs> who said, uh, and uh, who said, you know, if, if, if you were critical of Rigondeaux last night, you don't understand, you don't understand maybe the finer points of boxing or, you know, you have to understand this is how he fights. This is what makes him effective. And I just, I just felt like for people to, to go after people who were critical of, of his performance and how he fought and the style in which he fought last night is wrong. It, it was easy to be critical of him because for someone to try and pretend he was some Floyd Mayweather or Pernell Whitaker or Bernard Hopkins or a prime Guillermo Rigondeau, you know, last night is, is just a distortion. It's a delusion of trying to turn what he did last night into some beautiful, sweet science or pure boxing. That's not what it was. It was, uh, you know, a, a guy, yeah, who was doing a track meet. And I think part of why people were so staunch to defend Rigondeau last night is during, for example, the Floyd Mayweather years, when Floyd would do something masterful like school Canelo Alvarez with a beautiful, pure boxing display some of the casual fans who'd order those pay-per-views would, would, oh, he's boring, he's running, say a lot of ignorant things because they don't really understand the sport. And that made a lot of people start to really get staunch in defending brilliant boxing, right? And I think a lot of, I think that's some of that same sentiment is what's trying to defend Guillermo Rigondeau so much and uh, for how he fought last night. But again, he wasn't Pernell Whitaker or Floyd Mayweather or Bernard Hopkins last night. He was even a, he's a caricature of himself. He was a 41 year old man who just wasn't that effective, just wasn't the fighter he once was. If you want to see Guillermo Rigondeau be a brilliant boxer, go back to 2013 when he schooled Nonito Donaire. And I was there in Radio City Music Hall that night. So, you know, and, and uh, you know, Carson was there with me last night and he loves Rigo and I, I was pulling for him to get the decision. And by the way, he, maybe he did win that fight because yeah. I'm not going to penalize him too much scoring wise he maybe and a big reason why the fight was so boring was because his left hand has power so the other guy doesn't want to engage too because Rigan Dial has has power and he can punch but last night he wasn't doing some masterful boxing display he didn't have a great if he's a great boxer use your jab Mm -hmm. you check to the body you have a check hook you you show the full arsenal like Floyd Mayweather would do like Andre Ward would do and he didn't show any of that. He had, he had a few rounds where the left hand worked nice in some spots, and it is a beautiful left hand, and it got the respect of uh, Casimero. But yeah, basically, uh, and I saw a tweet out there about, you know, you guys used to love Willie Pep. There, you guys, you know, glorified that famous story of Willie Pep. He won a round without throwing a punch, right? Mm-hmm. Well, go back and actually watch Willie Pep. He's a beautiful combination puncher, great jab. It's it's one round and one story and one fight a hundred years it ago also, that supposedly happened. And is that confirmed yeah. by any means? Right. Like, no, is, I that don't, just myth, is that myth? Of this there's point? no tape. Yeah. So that doesn't set some standard to win twelve round fights now yeah. in championship title fights. Yeah. So I'm so yeah. confused. I, are you defending Rigadal or are you? <laughs> I'm. Are I'm you for his stuff off his chest. I know, but that's what he's point. doing. I didn't know what he was getting off his chest. My says, main point is. What's your? My main point is, it's it's. It's great to defend brilliant boxing. And then when someone who doesn't know the sport can't enjoy it, you defend that. Yeah. You tell them, hey, man, pay, look a little closer here. Yeah. Yeah. Folk, it, I was for you, and then I was, I was that. like... But last night wasn't well, I was like, yeah. Last <laughs> night wasn't that. And, and it's a distortion to turn it into that. Let, let me... Let me, a, let me I, think I, I, think I, I think I can simplify it as well. I'm rolling with it. So you know... Uh, I'm, hey, I'm, take that picture. Hey, why you think I started laughing? <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm, as we watched the fight yesterday and currently, the biggest Rigo fan here. Go ahead, you do that. But with, with what Zytel is saying is don't try to equate that to like, oh, you're a casual fan. You don't understand boxing because you didn't appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Right. In fairness, was that, a, like you said, was it Floyd? Was it Pernod Whitaker? Absolutely not. Yeah. not. Not on any planet was it yeah. that. Yeah. But, I, so I agree with what you're saying that don't make it a, well, real boxing fans can appreciate that. Right. There are aspects of it, sure, but oh, not gotcha. on a kind of a general level. I caught up. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I, would, I caught up. I would agree with what you were saying in that aspect. It wasn't something where it's like, 
man, you know, he really, you, you really don't understand the intricacies. My biggest issue is he won that fight. Fair enough. Right. Because my issue is Casemiro, whether, he, whether he's running, however you want to break it down, if you can't cut off the ring yeah. for 12 rounds, yeah. Yeah. how do you win the fight? He could not come up. He couldn't find the equation. Yeah. And with that being said, how, how do you win when you... And, and even, if you, even if you kind of take that out of it, who landed the more meaningful shots yesterday? I really do think it was rigging now. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, so not only could he not cut off the ring, yeah. he was not landing more meaningful punches than Rigo was. Yeah. So it's just like, I have a tough time giving you a decision, but into the fans that booed, I don't, you went to a... Guillermo Rigondeaux fight. <laughs> I have no clue what you were expecting. Remember, we joked. What, what if they showed up and, and, you know, you should check your news in yeah. boxing, but what if they showed up? Oh, man, Donaire, Casimero, and oh, no. they're like, oh, wait. <laughs> right, right, oh, right. wait, what happened? Right. Who's, who's, that don't look like Donaire. It, it, it was <laughs> weird last night because there were other fights on, yeah. clearly, but something, I could not. Hold you back, man. It was weird for me. Because what was the other fight on ESPN? Maloney and Franco yeah. were going to war. Yeah. They're going to war, but <laughs> going. how am I not? How am I more interested in in that Rigondeaux fight? There was something I I'm was weird you. for me. That's the revolution. Is that is that yeah. what that is? Because also that Franco Maloney fight was, and, and Franco wins, but it wasn't like I'm trying to think how to describe it. it. There wasn't much between them. It was like they were having these exchanges, and it was hard to kind of discern who was. Like, like winning really the exchanges winning the exchanges and, yeah. and there's no distance. There wasn't yeah. like, obviously there's tactics in any fight, but it yeah. wasn't like a tactical chess match. They were just kind of exchanging. <laughs> Last night was weird. Of, I think like the whole day of boxing was a weird. lot of boxing. I think you just wanted to see it through. Yeah. This yeah. Bizarre, Is that what it was? Is that movie that I just can't yeah. Yeah. not finish? <laughs> then you get to the end. You're like, is he going to win a fight fighting like this? Yeah. A title fight is, is we, I think that was part of it. We wanted to see what the judges Ants got something on his chest. Oh, I was yeah. letting y'all go. go yeah. ahead, y'all done? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we, we oh, out. last one. I, I mean, it's just nice that Carson and me were there in real life. Because see, on Twitter, if if people had the uh, our differing opinions, and they they tear into each other, and they yeah. they all that. But it's, it's you know, in we real sat life. We right next to each other. Yeah, in real life, we yeah. sat next to each other enjoying the fight. And so. then even just, let me simplify how Rigondeaux does not win that fight. He does not win that fight because, like I told you guys last night, mm -hmm. people understand the guy coming forward. They don't understand the guy moving and and moving backwards. It's just like if we have a if it's a real street fight and you see one guy moving back and his hands are going out like this yeah. and 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 all this from the guy coming forward. Once the fight is broken and stopped, nobody landed the punch at all. But everybody's going to talk about the guy yeah, who was who was down. initiating yeah. everything. And I thought that Casimiro. Casemiro. Casemiro, there was I'm I'm no longer impressed with him, even in a fight that he's in a in an all out brawl, because it seems to me that's all you can do. You can't figure out another way to get a guy to fight you other than if he's gonna stand right there in your yeah. face. And that's really not boxing either. You know, so yeah. while I was of course impressed with Rigandal's movement and his defense, I mean is especially right now, it's bar none. Yeah. Nobody nobody does it the way that he can do it, especially not at, obviously at that yeah. division, but at the same time, stop, plant that back foot and land a punch. Stop, plant the back foot and throw the jab. And it's like with with as as difficult as his um, as his movement is, it's like at the same time, it's like you 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 don't do anything but move. And even for for a guy like like you say, you like <laughs> Carson says, I this is what my type of fight, oh, a yeah. guy who can move. Stop, land a couple punches, keep moving. He's not doing that, but that's still my type of fight. I love that kind of like fighting, my, too. Like, my Mona Lisa is Lara and Canelo. Like, that is, like, yeah. that is my jam. Yeah. Like but Lara was firing one, two, one, two. Yeah, that's what he said. Right, right. Right. They, they, and I so thought, I thought Rigo could have, in those exchanges, you know, like you said, pop the jab out, maybe go to the body once or twice. And so even when you aren't doing that, but and you're making the guy miss virtually everything. Yeah. As a judge, you can't a judge can't really respect that because there's no offense coming from the other yeah. guy. And essentially that's what boxing is. Boxing right, is <laughs> boxing basically is who's the best offensively and defensively. Yeah. And then obviously you there's a separation there. Yeah. Who's who's you know, so on and so forth. Go so. Ahead, hey, hey, if anybody ever complained about my guy Floyd Mayweather again, watch that fight last <laughs> night. Yeah. That was right. a definition of some BS. All of the stuff boxing going through, hey, I'm dropping him. Somebody called PBC and dropped this guy. That was nonsense. 
We need to see some box. Would you would you hold his check? Hell yeah, hold his check. As as, as Sean said after yeah. hey, Sean hey, Gibbons is hey, that was embarrassing. Hey, Sean yeah, Gibbons, I, I didn't say that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, you know I don't mess with people money. No, yeah. I, I ain't gonna hold his check. Oh, yeah, yeah, I thought about it. Nah, yeah, yeah. nah, 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 nah. Some shots. Man, yeah, cause you, yeah, yeah. Hey, you on my check, you're gonna catch a left hand. Yeah. yeah. But nah, I just felt like he has to throw a little bit more. I mean, I understand that's his his style, but yeah. it's very boring for the casuals. Obviously, we're boxing fans. We we watched it like maybe he gonna do something else. Oh, maybe he's gonna no. turn it up. Look, like, hey, the last round, what did he do? He banged his his, <laughs> his glove yeah. together. He came to the center of the ring and didn't move. He Even started after, the round. After said, a round, after so a round, after, he after, threw a punch. Yeah, yeah. we popped him out. I'm like, so yeah, yeah, then he came out and threw a punch. Yeah. I said, I said, oh, we're gonna we gonna get something this round. No. And, and, I did, and, and he has that one hitter quitter, too. Yeah, the left so hand is strong. That's the that's yeah. it'll be like Deontay Wilder just running around somebody all night. But it, I was definitely disappointed in the, We just but, saw a highlight of him hitting Casemiro in the throat. You know, and no way that feels good. <laughs> yeah. How hard is that, though? Like, that's they hit somebody in the throat. Like, he's got changes all of those intangibles. That. I would imagine, obviously, being 41, it's not the same. 50. 40. He's 40. <laughs> Take it easy. At 40, it's not the same ish. 40 ish. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not the same. But for him to be able to do. What he did in terms of his defense, yeah. I'm sure there's got to be something there offensively. Any you want to see him again? I don't want to see him no more. Let me ask you I don't want to yeah. see him no ask, more. Let me ask you this, Ant. Matter of fact, I'm not watching none of his fights. Let me ask you this. So I ain't mad at you. Are you? But are you mad at Casemiro though? Oh, Casemiro should cut off the ring. Because I'm like, cut off the ring. You, you, are you mad at him? Yeah. Because I'm like, no, I'm, more mad I'm mad at him. him. No, no, no. You I'm, I'm mad at both. Twelve rounds and couldn't catch him. Yeah, and, you, and it's not. This isn't the game of capture the flag. You, there, there's yeah, you got to cut off the and ring. There's, and there's ends of the ring. It was Styles makes fight. That was a horrible fight. Yeah. That I'm mad at Casemiro. I'm, I'm extremely mad at Yeah, because I think someone like Niowa, uh, you know, Ino Uwe would have figured gonna, it out. And that's what some Loma people, figured it out. But yeah, but that's Loma. Yeah, and a lot of people were saying they're like, you know, I would still like to see him in there with. In a way, I would like to see him against Donaire again. Like, I, I don't, I'm it, done with this guy. I just, I, my. It my would be issue, interesting to see how Anuay deals with the movement. And, yeah, yeah. My issue is, I, I'm mad at Casemiro because your horrible offensive performance and ring generalship makes the criticism of Rigan even, even louder. Worse. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then they're like, "Well, this guy couldn't even, he couldn't even punch him." It's like, yeah. Well, wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't punch him, so I was it his fault, but. Yeah. And Sean Gibbons to address that briefly <laughs> when they're trying to conduct the post fight interview and you say something like that's the worst <laughs> display you've ever seen. They should withhold his purse. A judge like they had him winning the fight. The fans voted. That he, he, was, he was in the moment, Carson. Yeah, yeah. Sean, Sean always says don't interview. Yeah. But then like yeah. in the fan, like they did a poll and the fan said, yeah, Rick and won the, the fight. The cult of Rigo took over. Yeah. And so I'm like, <laughs> and, for, and then the, and then Jim Gray, I have criticisms of him in the past for certain things. But with that, where he was just like, Wait, is that him saying that or is that you saying that? And he was like, yeah, I just think. I was like, oh, okay. So yeah. it, was, it was clearly you. Yeah, but that was classic when yeah. he said you. Like, right. Right. Is that, are you <laughs> translating that yeah. or is that? But I, I just think we can't afford fights like right right now. Uh -uh. We're losing too many fights. We can't afford a, a boring fest like we had last night. I definitely. think we expected, obviously we expected that from Rick. And it definitely less. Didn't expect that yeah. from Casemiro to have that. The first couple of rounds, we got action. Yeah. Then it was like, oh, hell no, you clipped me. You won't catch me the rest of the night, brother. Yeah. I mean, you know it's too funny? bad. Think of the first round when, when Rigo goes down, when he gets hit in the back of the head, and then Casemiro, first off, get, is able to throw like five Because of the ref. The oh, right. Uh, what you but doing? think about, so think about that in the first round. He was like, then, dang, did I leave, my, did and, I leave the bread in the oven? But then the rest of the fight. So you have that in the first round. You're like, okay. like Yeah. Maybe, and then it was like, nope. That was yeah. It. <laughs> that was that, it. Last night was 100% the B flick movie you rent. And it's like, well, I spent money on it. I got, I got to I gotta finish it now. Yeah. That's what that was. Yeah, so. it's, it's like you, uh, Sean invited me to no watch, disrespect. watch his no. kids play sports, and his kids is trash. Don't say I'm never that. coming again. No, it can never. You, happen. You the only one. Oh my bad. Boys, I, 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 hey, talk about both of y'all. <laughs> well, I, I don't say, know about Leo, know. but my boy is hey, the, the best. Um, is, I mean, it's Jesus. Right. <laughs> not, not the yours, best but for Leo. The best is you offended the kids and you offended Rick and Dow. I was like, wait, did Leo just get this on the court away? What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG. Ant with two T's. This is the Port Away Podcast. This is Anthony Brunal. And this is Carson A. Merck. Tell them what to do. Hey, like, subscribe, comment, follow, follow us on all social media platforms. <laughs> say subscribe. I'm from Louisiana. I'll talk with a B. Let's do all it. Right, Let's do it one. again. Let's all do right. It. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell them, and then you tell them what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. 
Poor Way Podcast. Already, you're already here. <laughs> hey, hey, this is our outro. We're going to do it how we want to. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brenner. Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way. <laughs>